In today's video, I want to talk about seven reasons why I decided to purchase our 10 camera over R50 or R7. And here they are. Done some research and I wanted to purchase a travel camera. And I do have my R6. Majority of the time I have my um, 28 to 72.0 on it. I love this beast. It's beautiful. But when I travel, it's super heavy and I don't want to do that. And even if I put a smaller lens, it still takes a lot of space in my camera bag. So doing the research, I wanted to not spend a lot of money because if I go somewhere and somebody steals it or I drop it out, I didn't want to be out of the pocket with thousands of dollars. So I wanted to be safe, but also I didn't want it to be too bulky and too big to be like very visible. That's That was the whole idea. So doing my research, uh, I really loved M6 Mark II it was brilliant, but I hated the fact that it was a flip up screen. And then I loved also M50 and they came with the second version, which is a little bit of an update. People were saying that it's more of a um, softer update rather than having anything added to that camera. And I think I um, I was like, yeah, maybe I could buy uh, the a first version of the M50 at the smallest price. I've seen it, they, they are uh, around 400 to $600 right now, a secondhand one. But because I have so many RF uh, lenses mount right now, I still have EF lenses from my Canon 5D and I still have that camera, loved it to bits. It's just so heavy and I keep it as a backup. But um, I always wanted Canon to come with with a body, a small body, with the same uh, lens mount as R6. And I also wanted to be tiny in my hands. So they came up with R10, R7 and then R50. And I was looking at all this range. R7 is brilliant, but it's a little bit bigger than this and there is more money to put into that. And when I was looking, I was like, oh, well, if you spend the money for R7, you could buy another body for R6 Mark II for the same amount of money and it's full frame. So it didn't make sense for me to spend that much money for a travel camera. So even though the video capabilities for R7 are so much better than R10. But anyway, in saying that, as you see, my videos are no one near the big guy's videos because I don't focus on that. I, I know what I can do good. I do my photography good, my self-portraits good, and I focus on that. When I take videos, usually I take it with my GoPro, with my phones, and now I can do vlogging with this one super easy. So I, I'm not an expert at videos at this stage and I didn't stress too much. So R7 was out of the question. Then I was looking at um, videos on YouTube with regards to uh, the R50 and R10 and I was comparing them. The R50, I love the size of it. It's a little bit smaller than this. But I did worry that having this grip smaller, I have big hands because I am 1.80 meters. So I was scared that I won't be able to grip the camera in my hands. So when I went in the shop and I compared the grip on the M50, because they didn't have an R50 in there, and the R10, I felt the grip on this, my fingers, they just go so beautiful in the space in here. Then I can still toggle and because this grip, it's wider, I can do the same things as I will do on R6. 
so I didn't feel even though R6 for me it's a little bit bigger but it's a pro camera so I need to hold it properly so for me that grip was quite important and it made a big change and then I was looking at some videos and I've seen that when you put your mic in here on M50 so you put it in the shoe and then you bring the wire in R10 the wires are opposite the screen so you can flip your screen and you can connect your wire from here to the mic you can see yourself with no problem well in R50 the connections are on your grip in here so you won't be able to hold this camera like this if you want to film somewhere with a mic uh, to have a good sound so for me having those wires on the side of the grip you have to open your fingers i don't know i just didn't like that option so the the fact that the 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 HDMI and all the ports are on the grip side I just didn't like that then another thing which stopped me from go for going to M50 is this shoe so this shoe because I use lots of lights in my studio and I said man if I need to use a light outdoors or um, I just want to do some creative portraits for me and I want to use this tiny camera I will put my trigger in here well with M50 Give me my pet or camera back. <laughs> mommy I'm talking now with uh, R50 this shoe gadget is changed they have a new one and you need to buy an adapter which is $50 which will lift it up and then you can put your uh, light your trigger and I was like why do I need to put another thing on top of it because I just don't need it so the grip the ports and the shoe I was like okay that makes sense then the first oh, thing which I really loved about this is the fact that the entire setup of the buttons minus one or two things it is similar to the R6 so my transitions it's so much easier to go from R6 to R10 without thinking too much there is only one button which is not the same the ISO button and that toggle which yes I love it but is not a deal breaker so for me that was quite important to be able to move from R6 to R10 without needing to learn uh, new things on the camera and because it's a touch screen you can still select all your setting on the screen so it wasn't a big deal I loved it now with M6 Mark II you didn't have a viewfinder so that's why I was like should I invest on that spend extra money then there are no lenses on the market um, I need to invest in lenses that means will have been um, put the money spend and the budget on the same level with this and not being sure what else they will be on the market later on so for me going just with this kind of lenses with the RF lenses was much feasible on the long run um, oh, and it's night and it's night yes um, so I'm shooting in the night time if I don't have great light it's because we are in the living room um, it's school holiday Kate is playing what are you playing Minecraft Minecraft no. R Roblox yeah, Roblox. Yes. Roblox. Yes, so I know there is a crop sensor and I know that I need my 16 needs to be multiplied with 1.6. Another factor that, which is the fifth one, I wanted my kid to learn this camera too. So if you come here, you'll see, put it on your face. You, you won't be able to see because there is no battery there. But lift it up it's easy for him to hold it 
yeah so he plays with my canon 5d which is great but it's super bulky <laughs> so this being light that means i can put it in my bag mommy not with that one this is super heavy um, oh, i hold it yes good job this is super light so i have the 16 one 2.8 i have a 35 1.8 and I still have an older lens, EF lens, 50 mil. So 16 will be like a 24, 35, like a 45, 50. I don't know, I need to calculate. And then 50 will be like the 70 or something like that. So I do have, and then I have uh, another lens, which I really love, 150 to 400. I do that night photography sometimes, um, sky trails and all the stuff. Um, so I can still use that. The sixth factor, and this is really important. Now I remember why I choose R10 over R50 is how the battery is situated over where you put the camera on a tripod. So when you put this camera on a tripod, you'll need a plate. And when you put that plate on R50, you are not able to open your battery slot anymore. And why? Because this is smaller and comes closer to your battery grip and then uh, to your plate, a tripod plate, and the tripod plate covers the battery grip. So that's quite important because from what I understood the life of the batteries last only 330 shots or something like that so you will need to have spare batteries and you'll need to be able to change this super fast without the need to open this one for me I have the same tripod plate for all my cameras including my uh, phone GoPro so everything has the same plate and I can use the same tripod and that was very important. Seventh factor, which I wanted to talk is the fact, the price. So when you compare the price of R50 with R10, it's a matter of 100 to 100 dollars here in Australia. So uh, for me, having a little bit better um, variety, I guess, because you can do a little bit more with this camera than you can do with uh, the R50. Just a tiny bit. Yeah, it's not a big... Can you, hold it? you can hold it. Uh, it's not a big difference, but for the I 200... Okay, mommy, can I talk? Yeah. But for the $200 extra, I just wanted to spend the extra and to have a little bit a better option in this little camera. So, here are the seven reasons why i went for r10 and because not it's light r50 because it's light yes. the r50 is very heavy no r6 is heavy oh yeah i forgot yeah r50 we don't have it because it's smaller than this all right this is us i hope you enjoyed this video i will do some shots this weekend with this camera and I will uh, show you a comparison with the images between R6 and R10. So I hope you love it and we will talk soon. Bye. Good job.